Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Trevon. This is Moving to Texas. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly. Today, we're going to talk about neighborhoods. Are you considering moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area with your family? Finding a safe neighborhood is a top priority for most. So in this video, we'll explore the safest neighborhoods in Dallas-Fort Worth that are perfect for families or labeled perfect for families because sometimes it really just depends on you know where you truly want to live now we will be focusing on low crime rates to excellent schools and amenities all around we'll dive into the top neighborhoods that offer a safe and welcoming environment for families whether you're looking for a suburban haven or an urban oasis we've got you covered watch until the end and let's explore some of the best neighborhoods for families in the dfw metroplex all right, so down here now, how to make me a little smaller. We're gonna talk some of the best neighborhoods, best suburban areas, using this article from, from newhomesbestsuburbans.com. So we're gonna start off with Arlington, and then through that, I'm gonna show you um, just some other homes that you could possibly buy in this Arlington area. And I'm gonna probably go over a few price points. So Arlington, median home value is gonna be 340,000. So families that want it all want to live in Arlington. Diverse and cosmopolitan, Arlington boasts almost as many attractions as big sister Dallas. The city and surrounding suburbs also offer a swift 20 minute commute to downtown Dallas or Fort Worth. Life in the surrounding suburbs is peaceful with plenty of access to natural amenities, master plan communities like the Viridian. Uh, it's really a a beautiful community a uh, 2000 acre community boasts two amenity complexes multiple pools a lake and sailing club on-site elementary school trails unique parks for kids and more nature enthusiasts find a lot to explore in the arlington area river legacy park is 1300 acres of hiking biking and kayaking paradise along the trinity river of course you can't forget about lake arlington and uh, crystal canyon nature of course, you cannot forget about Lake Arlington and Crystal Canyon Natural Area. It's a 37-acre hidden gem with an easy hiking trail and many fossils. Arlington's most famous attraction is the AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Globe Life Field is where the Texas Rangers play. AT&T Stadium hosts concerts and events. Families that like to live life on the wild side can go to Six Flags or cool off in the summer months at six flags hurricane harbor so lots to do and now now for schooling arlington isd is diverse niche ranks it among the top 50 districts for athletes high schools offer honors advanced placement international baccalaureate and dual credit course that's an interesting word children are introduced to stem concepts as early as kindergarten so yeah that's arlington man lots to do in arlington we'll go to the MLS, uh, I'm not going to show you a bunch or go over pricing or anything, but like they were talking about the Viridian. Viridian, Viridian is a beautiful community, man. Um, home prices are pretty, pretty up there, you know, um, but you can find some decent size homes also. And it is an older community. Part of it is at least. Uh, but yeah, you got prices in the 940s all the way down to 450 here. Now this 450 might not be. Oh, so it is single family. So yeah. Oh, okay, but yeah. Attached single family. All in all, yeah, there's a lot to offer in Arlington. And of course, if you're not trying to spend that 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 higher price point, they they have many other price points. You know, there's a lot of options here under 300, you know. 285, 290, 240, 260, 360, 299. So lots of options to choose from. Um, if, if you're somebody that's looking in Arlington, you, you have some questions, you want somebody to run some numbers, yeah, just let me know and I'd love to run some numbers. There's a lot of deals happening out here and you can see now there's, there's a lot of homes for sale. Now, of course, I haven't nailed off a price point, but lots of opportunity. All right, next city is gonna be McKinney. Now, McKinney is a lot more expensive. Average price is gonna be 536. Families have been flocking to McKinney. According to the US Census, the area's population has increased 63% over the past decade. Now, what makes McKinney special is its combination of Texas charm, gorgeous natural amenities, and easy commute and excellent schools. Master plan Trinity Falls, 2,000 acres of beautiful homes, parks and trails, 
friendly people and full-time lifestyle director. 350-acre BB Owen Park houses the community's events, amphitheater, and 18-hole disc golf course, as well as winding natural trails and lakes. Now, McKinney is just 30 miles from Dallas, providing a convenient access to major employers such as Raytheon, uh, Wistron, Wistron Green Tech, Torchmark, Emerson Process Management, Tong Yang, Simpson Strong Tie, Tenant Tracker, Manor, Plax, Manor Plastics, and Trey and Traxxas. So I probably butchered a few of those, but. Downtown McKinney boasts a vibrant historical district with bountiful boutiques, sweet shops, and suburb restaurants. The Herd of the Natural Science Museum is also out there. Of course, now lots of shopping and lots of food restaurants out in McKinney. The main thing people want to talk about is the schooling. Award-winning McKinney ISD serves most students in the area. It is one of the only 22 school districts in Texas named to the College Board AP District Honor Roll. All three high schools within the district have earned 2023 AP school honor roll recognition from school board, from college board. McKinney residents can get most of what they need in downtown McKinney. Discounted designer dudes, discounted designer duds can be found at the nearby Allen Premium Outlet. A little further along, the shops of Legacy. Of course, you also have lots of shopping, lots of food. I mean, McKinney's got so much infrastructure out there built out. It's pretty incredible. Um, now, sure, you got traffic here and there, but I mean, that's traffic's everywhere. It's not going to go anywhere. So that'd be something I would probably take out if, if that's something you're worried about. We'll roll over here, McKinney. So, yeah, you see McKinney. Lots of neighborhoods, lots going on. You know, price points, you, you're getting all the way to 1.5, 1.1s, and then you got your 380s. You know what I mean? There, there's a lot of opportunity out here. Okay? Under 400. Like, but the, you you do notice higher price points, but still, if you are shopping in this area, you got to understand a lot of these people have a lot of equity already in their homes. I don't want to talk too detailed on numbers, but give me a call. Shoot me a text if you are interested in McKinney, and let's run some numbers, man. All right, so let's touch over Frisco. Frisco, median home price, 703 Beautiful area, man. Frisco's got a lot going on too and had and, and, and really has had a lot going on. So attractive sports enthusiasts and urban adventurers, Frisco is a North Texas star. Wallet Hub named Frisco the number two best place to buy a home in the nation in 2023. Smart Asset ranked Frisco as the number one safest city in the US and number two city in the US for working from home in 2024. It's no reason the population there has doubled over the past 10 years. While many are attracted by the less than 30 minute commute to Dallas, others are drawn by the family friendly master plan communities. The Dallas Cowboys play in Arlington, but their home is in Frisco. The team's world headquarters and training facility anchor the star in Frisco. Ford centers out there, multiple purpose, 12,000 seat indoor stadium shared by the Cowboys. Um, USA Frisco's home base for the Rough Riders, Texas Legends, and the Dallas Stars. Weekend warriors can hike or bike more than 70 miles of trails. The National Video Game Museum is also out there. Families can play video games, old and new, as well as learn the history of the industry. Frisco is also home for the Texas Pinball Festival. Number seven top school districts in Texas, according to the niche, is Frisco ISD. Not surprisingly, it also ranks among the top 25 districts for athletes in the state. Now, the strong curriculum includes advanced placement, international baccalaureate, and dual credit classes. Stone Buyer Center is a favorite with fashionistas. Um, all shopping, they've got tons of it, man. Some of my, one of my favorite burger spots is out in Frisco. Um, if you want that information, shoot me a text. I'll, get, I'll give you it, but they cook great burgers. But yeah, let me show you some briefly um, Frisco. Now, yeah, Frisco, you do, you know, you, you are gonna have to have a bigger, you know, more money per se, if you were trying to move in Frisco, the average price point's higher, but you can still find some gyms in there for, you know, look, under five, you know, 460, 430, you know? So it's not unobtainable, but you can, you know, enter areas where homes are gonna be in the one point, you know, one, one millions and up. So lots of opportunity out there still though. And, and again, you know what I mean? A lot of these houses, they're, 
newer homes, right? Not a lot of homes from the 70s and, eight, and 60s, but still a lot of people who've got a lot of equity in their home and lots of opportunity out there in the market. All right, next we're going to touch over Prosper. So Prosper, a little north of Frisco. Uh, you want to see Frisco's like right here. Prosper is up here. Right a little here. Lots of new neighborhoods getting built out out there. Lots of neighborhoods and nice and nice big lots in most cases. Um, but yeah, Prosperous Prosper is a homeowner's dream with beautiful homes, quiet neighborhoods and plenty of places for children to play. Neighborhoods in Prosper are affluent. Prosperous location allows people to take advantage of attractions found in Salina, Frisco, McKinney, Plano, and Denton. Fun in downtown Dallas is a mere 45 minutes away. So you still have the ability to pretty much enjoy all the things you would in Frisco and McKinney as well. Closer to home, Prosper residents enjoy the city's many parks. Frontier Park is the largest with a sports complex featuring lighted natural and turf fields for soccer, softball, and baseball trails, a catch and release pond, splash pad and playground. Um, Town Lake Park has a 27 acre stocked lake for catch and release fishing, as well as opportunities to kayak and canoe. Um, now, one of the biggest things, and, and same with Frisco, schooling is to a T, that last article um, touched over it, but Prosper, man. Prosper ISD is a top rated school district parents and children's will love niche ranked it at number 10 on the most recent lists of the best school districts in texas the graduation rate is 98 percent and 58 percent of the graduation seniors attend four-year universities another 28 percent attend two-year community colleges of course you know they're gonna have shopping out there in prosper the gates of prosper is an 800 acre mixed-use development featuring retail such as walmart uh, five and below dick sporting goods and then also in selena they're gonna be having a disney out there so that's gonna be minutes from you if you out if you're already out in prosper um lots of opportunity out there man lots of opportunity i know they're i believe they're also getting a uh there might be a lido i think they're also getting a pretty nice golf course up there too in selena so prosper beautiful place to live like i said you know um high 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 price points you know 1.4 for a uh 3700 square foot home 0.7 acre beautiful though look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful so that's what you can get out there if you are someone that's looking to prosper uh, maybe you're not in the twos you know and maybe you're not in the millions you can still find something out oh, i think i found something that was under four where was it oh okay that's maybe it did <laughs> it's not necessarily a single family oh it's a single family home okay yeah so prosper you know 0.4 of an acre uh, 1300 square feet, you know, it's 352 per square foot. So a little on the expensive side, but, um, good solid area. Like I said, if you got questions about prosper, you want me to run some numbers, shoot me a call, give me a text and, uh, I'd love to do that for you. All right. As we keep going, we are on to Aubrey. So median home price in Aubrey is going to be 410. Uh, there's more to Aubrey than horse ranches. Master plan communities are springing up near the tiny town bringing with them an exceptional lifestyle for families located along the u.s highway 380 between denton and mckinney the horse capital of texas is less than a 30 minute drive to plano or frisco denton, denton is 15 minutes away and dallas is less than 40. of course you have ray roberts lake state park out there you've got your parker rosa wild ranch and texas true farm Small town charm can be enjoyed just by strolling through Aubrey's downtown. Unique restaurants and boutiques line the district. Local favorites include Casey and Co's Boutique, uh, Ruby's Cat Bake Shop, Upper Park Cafe, and World Famous Mobs. So, but again, you know, a lot more than than, than just these options. Uh, two school districts serve Aubrey, Aubrey ISD. Um, which has earned the state's highest fiscal accountability rating from the Texas Education Agency for the last 19 years, earning an A and management rating of superior. Niche rated Denton ISD number 164 on the list of best Texas school districts out of 1,052. So some of those districts were number in the top 10. Uh, Denton is 164 out of 1,000. I would say that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good 
All right, so let's go to Aubrey, which is just a little stroll to the left and a little more north of Krugerville. But yeah, a lot, you know, same thing. New uh, communities being built. Not as much infrastructure, but this is going to be an area where you can find a lot of opportunity before it gets there, right? Uh, um, some of these new build communities, you'd be the first in it, you know what I mean? And uh, all these homes are for sale. Now, not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's all going to depend on what you want to do. You know, there, you can still find other opportunities out there in Aubrey. Idea here is just to kind of know your area and then kind of just get the gist of what the market's going on. Yeah, you know, 2,500 square feet, 430, 2007 build. Looks pretty good inside. Looks pretty decent. But yeah, let me know if you want me to run some numbers. Still a lot of opportunity out there. Um, even in some of these places. Just because most owners, now Aubrey, they're going to have a lot of newer homes. But anyone that's owned their home since 2019, 2020, 2021 to a degree, um, they have... In most cases, a decent amount of equity. All right. So Flower Mound is actually one of my favorite areas in the DFW Metroplex. Nicknamed the Flow Mo by residents. Haven't really heard that nickname. Uh, but Flower Mound is a growing community that has managed to retain its small town ambience. Small town ambience. Centrally located between Dallas and Fort Worth. Flower Mound is popular with commuters who can get to downtown jobs in less than 40 minutes. Many master plan communities offer easy access to Interstate 35, which speeds families to Denton and Fort Worth. Flower Mound is known for its many festivals. Of course, you have the Flower Mound Independence Festival, attracts about 30,000 people each year. You got the uh, Highland Village Balloon Festival also. Yeah, life is lived outdoors in Flower Mound. Residents love loading up the car and heading to the nearby Grapevine Lake. 8,000 acre lake is perfect for fishing, hiking, boating, and camping. Located on the cliffs above Grapevine Lake, Rock Ledge Park is a quiet place for picnicking due to its location away from the recreational boat areas. You have your urban fun as far as shopping, things to do, gaming, all that stuff. You can never run out in these types of areas. Three school districts serve Flower Mound communities, and they all offer excellent schools. Louisville ISD is the largest district. It's ranked number 38 out of 1,052 schools. Wow. I did not think it was, I did not know it was ranked that well. Wow. And then it's number 48 out of 964 districts for best school districts for athletes. Now, I did know that. Man. Argyle ISD ranks as the number 13 best school district in Texas, according to Niche. Argyle High School has won 16A, 4A UIL state academic championships and won 40 other state and national sports and academic championship awards. Northwest ISD was ranked among the top third of school districts overall at number 13 for athletes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The, dis the district was one of the five named finalists in the 2020 HEB Excellence in Education Award. Wow. So when it comes to shopping, of course, you know, you're not going to run out of things to do. The Highlands of Flower Mound, Flower Mound, uh, Town Center, lots to do. I'll say Flower Mound is, is becoming one of those areas that is is becoming very, is very expensive, becoming very expensive. And, uh, you know, that's that's everywhere, but uh, absolutely beautiful area. Absolutely beautiful area. You know, you can find a mix of the both, right? You can find some homes in the 400s under 400 and then you can find some massive ones you know what i mean three million these are closer to the lake but even these you know what i mean beautiful homes 1.5 1.1 1.7 beautiful area this is just a small glimpse of what you can get same thing in this market you're gonna have sellers with a lot of equity and that is a lot of opportunity if you are a buyer in the market now if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. This was a longer video because I wanted to touch on these specific areas and highlight them just to give you a better perspective. Now, of course, there's a lot of areas that are really growing in the DFW Metroplex. So if you're someone that's not really familiar, you have a few questions about a specific area or if you want to go out and take a look or have someone run some numbers, feel free to check the description and uh, shoot me a call or text, man. Um, but if you're feeling the vibe, subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.
Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly.